So we just returned from NVIDIA's Computex 2024 keynote and I need to read some of the stuff on my laptop here because the keynote was two hours. I summarized, condensed it into a more digestible form here. So in today's video, we're just going to talk about it. And actually, we also had dinner at Simon Ting before returning to the hotel to do this video, but that's beside the point. So NVIDIA being the forefront pioneer of AI in this world right here, that two-hour keynote is actually very important. There are a lot of new hardware, new technologies announced in that. And I just want to highlight Blackwell in particular. It's NVIDIA's latest cutting-edge AI hardware with superb performance, fifth-generation NVLink, and also Secure AI, all of those stuff, as you can see on the screen here. So the new Blackwell GPU will look like this. There are two Blackwell GPU dies here connected to one Grace CPU interconnected to each other with like, I forgot how many, 10 terabytes, is it? This is the Grace CPU. And these are, you could see each one of these Blackwell dies, two of them connected together. You see that? That Blackwell die here is the largest die ever produced by a fab. It is the largest die, the, the largest chip the world makes. And then we connect two of them together with a 10 terabyte per second link. This is thanks to TSMC's technology. Uh, Jensen Huang mentioned that, not me. And Blackwell can achieve 20,000 teraflops while consuming 350 times less power compared to the original Pascal architecture when they first started to focus on AI. So that's a huge leap in just eight years of technological advancement. And for the token generation, it only takes 0.4 joules per token, which is the most efficient AI hardware to date. And that is just the capabilities of one of these Blackwell GPUs. If we need more power, then we can expand it even further. So we can just buy more of them and then connect them into one big computer. To do that, we will have to look at the new fifth generation NVLink. So NVIDIA has something new called the NVLink Spine that you can connect up to 72 Blackwell GPUs together, making it into one single server rack. Then, if you need even more performance, you can get even more of them. So NVIDIA has something called Spectrum X. So it allows data centers to connect multiple NVLink spines together, and then you can choose however many that you want to connect it. So you need two, three, four, whatever. So when I saw this part of the keynote, the first thing that comes into my mind is scalability. You don't have to sink all of your money all at once into the infrastructure. So maybe dip your toes into getting like two or three, then maybe when you realize that you don't have enough performance, then you can buy more, connect them all together, and then you can just expand when you need it. It's more like adapting to your demand. Yes. So eventually your entire data center can be NVIDIA power. It's just that you don't have to sink all of your money all at once. And Jensen also mentioned the future roadmaps of these AI chips. So we have Blackwell now. Next year, we will have Blackwell Ultra. Same architecture, improved. And then the year after, which is surprising that he will share this kind of information, we will have a new architecture called Rubin. Not many details are provided, but uh, Jensen did mention that it is in full development right now. So. Now the question is, if you have so much processing power, what are you going to do with it? So NVIDIA showed us something called physical AI. So it's technically creating robots that work in the physical world in an automated, automated manner. And what piqued my interest is that NVIDIA seems to be utilizing Omniverse, which is their uh, simulation of the real world as a digital twin, to put it lightly, yeah, uh, for the robot to do the processing. In a sense, all of the robots are doing the tasks in the Omniverse, but all of the actions are actually done in real world. You can see it with your own eyes. It's surprising to me because usually all of these companies will do something like computer vision. So whatever the computer sees, it will process that and then use those information to do the task. The approach that NVIDIA is taking here with physical AI seems to be a more aerial view of the entire thing. So it can get the data of the entire system before it actually does anything. So that is a very different approach. And that is the 
very brief summary of the two-hour keynote. Those are just the topics that interest me. If you want to watch the full keynote, I highly implore you to do so because Jensen has a lot of insights, memes, jokes here and there. So yeah, I'll leave you the link down in the description below and we'll see you guys in the next video. More stuff for Computex coming soon.